Hey, what's up? It's DJ Show One King Legend coming at you here. So what I have here is the iRig. I know a lot of DJs are not uh, playing out right now, so everything is pretty much an online streaming thing. You know, everyone wants to be heard, so uh, everyone's getting online, doing their mixes and so forth. Um, yeah, that's the way it is right now. Uh, it's going to be like that for a while. So, uh, you know, if you don't have an iRig, I mean, there's other streaming devices out there different names but there's the iRig 2 also and a couple others all right but right now I have the basic iRig so what it is is pretty much a quarter inch in and you have a 1 8 inch stereo with RCA's okay output that's your output plug okay so this one eighth goes into your phone. This one eighth will go into your equipment so you can be, uh, you know, hearing whatever is coming out pretty much. You know, you can, you can um, stream on Instagram. Let's say if you have uh, two people playing, what you can do is um, you use your one eighth right there and you put that into your input so that way you can hear the other person without having to disconnect the jack from your phone pretty much so this is pretty much the output of your uh, phone jack so whatever is uh coming out will be heard okay so let me show you what you need once you order your iRig um you can order these on amazon it takes a while though probably about a month and a half or so to get because uh, it's coming straight from china um, I think eBay would probably be the best bet because you can buy them and uh, get them within a week or two from like an independent seller or so forth. All right. Or well, if you have any problems uh, finding one, just uh, just contact me and I will uh, you know show you the best route to get one. All right. They're pretty cheap, less than ten bucks. All right. So this is a a quick and simple way to fix your audio when you live stream because if you just record by the phone alone. Uh, your audio is not going to be so great because the phone kind of doesn't pick up the sound as well. So this is like the best bet right here to plug it directly into your uh, input of your phone. So that way you can get that nice clear audio that you're hearing from your speakers also. Your audience will hear. Alright, so whether you have a controller, whether you have a small mixer or a large mixer, it can be done, okay? Uh, let me just show you quick and easy way all right so what you do is this one eighth will plug directly into your uh, phone jack okay like as if you have a um you know a headset or whatever the case may be this goes directly into that same port okay all right what you do now let me go over here because i already have mine hooked up so i won't disconnect but okay so you find your output of your uh, mixer, whether it be an aux or whatever the case may be, or a headphone port. I'm using my headphones so that way I can control it, uh, control the volume easily because I do have a, a special headphone um, level right there, so it makes it a lot easier to control what my audience hears. Okay. All right, so you're doing your, this is considered your output. Your headphone plug from your mixer will be your output. All right, so from your output, which is, you know, a quarter inch. I'm using an adapter on mine because this was an RCA, so I pretty much um, didn't have an extra quarter inch. I can spare at the moment when I hooked it up. So there you go, that's your output and your output will go into this guitar symbol which is an input I'm doing this with one hand so uh, bear with me here okay so that goes into your input and like I said before this will be your input of your phone this will plug right into your phone I'm not going to plug it in right now because I'm doing the video obviously okay here's the important part right here this is what you will need to get 
Okay, now this is a 1.8 stereo plug, okay? Okay, notice they're the same size as your input phone, but the rings are different. See that? So one has three rings, which is separating the input and the output, okay? Because your phone can accept input and output through that one jack, okay? So this is pretty much for output purposes, okay? All right. I'm not going to go into the ring tip sleeve and ground and all that. So uh, pretty much this is just an output plug, okay? So this goes into the smaller port of the iRig. Okay, just like so. Plug that in. And now you use RCAs, which will plug into these plugs, right? Which will be your output. So output always goes into an input, the input always goes into an output. All right, once you got that down pack, you can pretty much hook anything up. Never put an input into an input or an output into an output. That's it, okay? So this is your output and obviously you're gonna plug it into an input. So find a line level, you know, or a tape input and you plug those in. See mine says line. Okay. And you plug your line in. Okay. Plug your line in, which will be controlled by one of these. So whatever is coming in, you know, like I said, if you have a partner and you're doing a split screen, you can hear what he's hearing. All you gotta do is turn this up when you're finished playing and you can hear what he's playing without plugging out your plug out of your phone. This is pretty much just avoiding that situation of having to have to disconnect that port. That's what that does. I mean, you don't have to use that, but if you feel like plugging your jack out every five minutes or whatever, or 10 minutes, depends on how you guys are playing, then that's up to you. All right, so once you have that all hooked up, Pretty much you will just uh, check with your audience, do a sound check to make sure, you know, the levels that you're hearing is what you want them to hear. So pretty much your fader knob will control with the iRig and your master won't, your master won't. So it will be your level and your master from your mixer that will be uh, controlling what the audience hears, okay? and your uh, phone input if you're doing it the way I am, okay? You can also do it another way. If you, only, if you only have the controller, what you can use is your booth output. You can use your booth, and you can run the output signal into that guitar input instead of doing it from the mixer's uh, line output. All right? Or if you're using a larger mixer, which you can use as an aux out from your mixer, and then you can use the input from your tape input also, and those will be controlled by your master, alright, and your line input, whichever one you choose, or whatever the case may be, however you're doing the input, alright, but if you use the tape input, you will find your tape, your tape input, and you will use that instead, alright. Use my tape right here, and this would be your input. All right, so there's several different ways you can connect it. All right, so I uh, hope that helps. All right, this is DJ Show One King Legend coming at you. Please subscribe, please like, please share the knowledge. All right, thanks for watching.